Going out to bid is time consuming, but there are some basic steps that will make the process easier and more transparent for both the bidder and the fleet manager. They should seek to, to obtain um, a, enough information so, so that the provider is going to know um, what their spend is so the provider can, can offer the best price. So what you want to do is you want to provide enough background information to allow the bidders to figure out what is the spend, where, where are they going to be profitable, how are they going to come back with their initial best price. And then you also want to make sure that the bidders understand that you're serious. And so um, from, from time to time, regardless of how big your fleet is, I mean, even if your fleet is very large, size is not everything. So uh, if, if the bidders don't think you're, there's an opportunity for a change from your current provider, um, it's possible that, that they won't bid. So you need to, you need to get across that you, you're really serious about the project. And you can do that through pre-bid meetings and so forth. The technical quest questions are um, most often a, a problem area, problematic. And the reason is, is that um, if it's one individual who's writing the RFP or if you have a group of people working as a team, perhaps with sourcing, um, it's real easy to ask 150, 200 questions. But why are you asking those questions? So what we suggest is for every question that you ask, you, you sit down and you determine what is the answer I'm looking for. And then when you, when you consider the answer that you're looking for and defining that, it's like, okay, is that measurable? How am I gonna measure apples to apples, one company against the other? And I see a lot of, um, I talk with a lot of fleet managers, see lots of, as I mentioned, lots of questions. Um, getting 150, 200 pages uh, in a Word document. Um, it may look flashy, it may look pretty, but is it really going to get you where you, where you wanna be? And how much time are you wasting with, with all of these answers? And if the answers, if the questions are so open-ended, how are you gonna measure them? 